You know, I was walking down the street and I asked this woman if there was anything approaching a Zabar's in the area. And she looked at me like I had a horn growing out of my head. Oh, well, Mrs. Weigert called. She's bringing her family that makes 28, so I'm hoping for about 40. This pasta's superb. Mm, thank you. It's a Rotini Primavera. Ah, oh, sometimes I just surprise myself. I don't know why I keep myself so busy. <laughs> and we've just moved here and already I'm throwing my first gathering. So, Tommy, how are things at school? It sucks. Uh, 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 language check? There'll be no language like that at the table, Preston. My name's Tommy. Tommy is a name for boys who drive El Caminos and collect welfare. Preston is a name that engenders success. Is success having to share a bed with an old man? Tommy. It's no way to talk to your mother, and it's no way to refer to your grandfather. Until we buy the furniture for upstairs, you're There's just going to have to share in the your bed pond. with your... There's a shark in the pond. <laughs> oh, Henry, you're funny. <laughs> a good one, Dad. There is a shark. I saw him. I had it hooked, and it broke the line. Come back out with me and I'll show you. No, Dad, please. I'm telling you, there is a shark out there. I saw him with my own eyes. Sit down and eat your pasta. My Dad! Excuse me. This is Lou. Sure, it's just a joke. It's just trying to lighten up the mood. By saying there's a shark living in the pond? Well, he's always had an unusual sense of humor. I don't think it's that. I think he's losing his mind. You know, he wasn't like this when I agreed to let him live with us. I just don't think I'm comfortable being alone with him. It's only for one day. But my gathering, my first gathering. I have no choice. The Pittsburgh system crashed. I have to go. Well, what happens when I'm serving dinner for 40 at the mayor's mansion, huh? What am I going to do? Stick him in the back of the van with an Etch-a-Sketch? We'll discuss this when I get home. Dad? What are you doing out here? Can't talk now. 
What? Maybe once I kill that shark, you'll believe me. Yeah, you see, you stick this into the shotgun, like this, and then you fire into the shark's hide. Uh, this rope is attached to the barrel. And the barrel tires him out and then draws him up to the surface, and then you can blow him up. I saw it on TV. Dad, you know how Mim feels about your guns. Well, but I... Uh, I I'm off for Pittsburgh now. Now, Mim's under a great deal of strain getting ready for the gathering tomorrow. Don't make things worse. Oh, but she can't have people here with a shark out there. some help. Um, I'm trying to think of a name for my catering company and I've, I've narrowed it down to Creations by Mim or Mim's the Word. What do you think? Tommy's running his boat. Yes, well he's very mechanically oriented. But he's scaring away the shark. <sighs> it's all right, Mim. He's just an old man with a shark fetish. He'll latch onto something else next week. Thank you. 